Right, so it's part two of the four wheel stolly. We're going to uh, try and start it today. Obviously, you saw what, how far we got in the last video in the pouring rain. Well, it's beautiful sunshine today, so what more can you want? We're, uh, we're going to throw some petrol in it, light a rag, and set it on fire. No, we're not. We're going to put some petrol in it and see if we can't drive it straight off of the, uh, of the lorry. Straight off. I can't see any problems. I can't see any problem. It won't, any reason it won't drive straight off. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, right. We have connected up the fuel tank. Genuine fuel tank. We've also had trouble with the throttle. It wouldn't bleed up. So we've come up with an ingenious idea. Follow this bit of baler twine. that goes to the original throttle pedal. And if you press it... It does actually work. So that is a proper mend. We're now gonna try and start it up and if it runs nice, we'll drive it off. Straight off, mate. Right, now hold the throttle off. off. So, yeah, and see what happens. Crank it. Pressure went up. Oh, what a babe. Right, I think it, I think it's time. I reckon it's time. Shall I keep the tension on the throttle? Well, now? what I'll do, I'll make sure that's up, and I think when you're about to send it. Yeah. I'll take the pull. throttle. Yeah. Alright. Fire her up when ready. Try it. <laughs> See, yeah. Oh, you clutch, you clutch working now. Oh yes. <laughs> I tell you, it's a much better height to work on at this height. Yeah, it looks it, doesn't it? Looks like you're capsizing, Captain. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it actually runs mint, that does. That does, doesn't it? Just rebuild it. <laughs> <laughs> Get some wheels on it quick. Oh, that's funny. 
Because you're getting a bit warm. What do you mean? I've got a bit of space, I've only that oil burning up. Well, and that petrol that we spilt. Oh, yeah, yeah. To be fair, I'm a bit disappointed there were no fire. So oil pressure comes straight up. Oil pressure works now. Yeah. What? Is a fun babe. Drove off the lorry, I wasn't expecting yeah. that. Come. Will it start up? It's pretty reliable, this, is it? She's a f***ing weapon. <laughs> <laughs> that went incredibly well, which is something we're not used to around here. So we're not going to cut the film off short. We actually got a call from a friend of mine saying they wanted to get his saw plough going. So we'll actually put the video of getting the saw plough going in next. But if you are in the market for a prize military vehicle project, <laughs> this is now a runner driver. And to be honest, the engine actually does sound quite nice. Seems to run all right. We don't know about the gears, obviously first gear works, so to be honest, can't see why anything else wouldn't work. The lights and the indicators even work, so I mean, that's a great thing. It's not road registered, and obviously the batteries aren't included because they're worth more than it. But um, if you're interested, I think about £3,000 would be fair. Mm -hmm. Knock yourself out. He's got no idea how it works. No. Look at him. Oh, my dad used to drive this. Oh, daddy would be so proud of me. Oh. Go on then. Just come and film this, it's interesting. Good job we stored it outside. Who's bright idea with that? I don't think it was. Let me just go and grab a handful of sawdust. Right, just work the prop out. You want to be nice and gentle with things like this. Yeah, with injector. Yeah, just gentle little taps. That's it. Just like, there look at go. that. That's it's starting to move. If it's not moving, it's just fracturing right, that now, bit of metal. Now work the... So the engine in this Zorplow is a Detroit V8, and they suffer with the injector seizing. And if one sticks, the whole engine actually sticks, usually on full throttle. So a little bit of WD-40 and working forward and back, and you can usually get them to free off. This has been standing for about three years. <laughs> it's the Cadillac Arrest. <laughs> Well, the time it did it is with me, the last time it fripped me to death. Right, that should be fine.
reckon that's important. <laughs> I like the mirror. What's that for? I don't know, but this, yeah. <clears throat> Bloody shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of life on the undercarriage. Not. <laughs> I tell you what, you're not a spill a drop, Joe. He's the fun of his <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least it's not gone straight on the burning out exhaust manifold. Shall we check it? Still want a bit more. I've got 200 litres in there, check it. How are you going to take it off? So, you've done your own mum this morning? Is that what the shirt's trying to say? No, your mum. Yeah, but that's what I was saying. You've done your mum this and morning. Your mom. No, your mum. It, it's, it's perspective. I think that's a lot of perspective there. But yeah, to answer your question, I've done my own mum. <laughs> <laughs> I like your stylish wellies, B.I. Don't be silly. Don't um, be silly. <laughs> um, be silly. <laughs> Professional um, look. Silly. It's not a Romanian make either. I'm no, surprised no. you're wearing them. It's only because you can't get Romanian made round here. Yeah. All the Romanian stuff is expensive in this shitty country. Oh, should we go a bit more? Should be fine. Or illegally made. <laughs> that literally looks like treacle, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, leave that on there, we'll just track straight over it. <laughs> Don't say stupid things, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, it's off job. today. Right, come on, get down. done your knees down, are well please. good. We'll need that again. We'll track over the food. All right.
Could have been worse. Could have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> he only made slight damage. Do you think that tree's going to grow there? 